Yeah! But! but so let's get started here. Yeah! yeah. LeBron James is a great basketball player, and yeah. yeah! He's won a title in three different cities, although one of those cities was a Fugazi COVID oh, title. Oh, don't do it to him, Craig. But, but he's had more years in L.A. either out of the playoffs or as a playing team than he's had actual success as an L.A. Laker. And <laughs> nobody counts the 2020 title as true, an actual we championship. So, Go ahead. So, so, ah. so going to the Western Conference Finals is not success. That was decent last year. Oh, yeah. Decent. Of All course, right. they got waxed and swept they got beat up. by the Denver sure. Nuggets. Sure. But uh, look, LeBron James is one of the great players. And the reason I bring LeBron up today is that I still can't get over yesterday's comment or after the All-Star game when he said he's 50-50 on whether or not he yeah. wants to be celebrated. And here's why I say it. As I went to bed last night, I had LeBron on my mind, of course, which, really. which yeah. never happens. Never. I'm a diehard Knicks fan. I've had John Starks on my mind a lot Can I take when I went to bed. I check I've had the Knicks City dancers on my mind a lot when I went to bed. I never have LeBron James on my mind. But it dawned on me that LeBron James, like a lot of young men, uh, have a lot of tattoos on their bodies, right? Okay. And for, yeah. a, so for a guy that claims that he's 50-50 about whether or not he wants to be celebrated, and a guy who claims to be uncomfortable with uh, uh, people celebrating Great. his greatness. I remember the tattoo that I once saw that goes across his chest. And I believe it's the word chosen. Yeah, the chosen the one. Cho chosen one yes. Yeah, so I tattooed the words the chosen on one on my, is it on his back? Yep. yep. All right, so I've got the tattoo that says the chosen one on my back. But I'm totally uncomfortable with people paying me praise. Sorry, not, not sorry. I can't get over that one. And I slept blissfully when I went to bed. Um, okay. <laughs> well, there's a joke there that I probably shouldn't tell. Yeah. But, you know, I would tell it. You're going to tell it. You're going to tell it. I didn't realize that the tattoo was on his back. Some guys only want praise from behind. But that's me. That's just you okay? What's up? <laughs> I got that. Yo, got me. <laughs> uh, 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 all right. <laughs> the best show. All I've right. Seen <laughs> okay. All right. Look. Man. Uh, yeah. Basketball is the American <laughs> game. And, and yeah. yeah. The best players of all time happen to be American. But today. The international team would beat the American team no. if we had an all-star game featuring Team USA versus the world. Spot the lie. It's yeah. competitive. It's we, competitive. But look at the American side. We don't even have Dane we, Lillard up there. I, like, and that's just a, we just picked random guys right. for that. Well, uh, we're not trying to make okay. a point. We're just giving you an idea of how good Team World would be. A little bit of a size problem. We got Giannis, Jokic, and Beat and Wimby. They're yeah. all over seven yeah. feet. A little bit of a size problem Bunch there. Of yeah. Yeah. On that seven side. footers yeah. who, by the way, can shoot from 25 yeah. feet yeah. 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 as well. It'll be problem. interesting. I do hope Adam Silver in the NBA and the players agree to a USA versus the World uh, matchup. Uh, I, I did not. I will text Adam Silver yeah, after yeah, the show yeah. uh, today. All right, number three, here we go. Yeah! yeah. They never turn to the right. And, and yeah. yeah! We only watch for the crashes. But I got to tell you, the final 10 laps of Daytona oh, are one of the most oh. watchable sporting events I've ever seen on TV. This is the second to last lap. You had a 20-car pileup. And I know the last lap became uneventful. And Brian wins, or Byron, pardon me, wins the Daytona. But that right there, and I'm sitting around my couch watching it, was awesome. Oh, so you really watched? You yeah. You said you was going to I'm a big yeah. NASCAR guy. Oh, big okay. NASCAR guy. Yeah, I'm big, big NASCAR guy. Okay. Yeah, so NASCAR we're starting to track Does anybody fight after this? What happened? No, they, they Great fight. Question, sometimes really. they fight, but not. They didn't really fight. always wants to know about the violence. I mean, if you bang up my car, usually in a real street, we fight, right? <laughs> like, that's yeah. Just, yeah. 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 Just, it's, not, not, it's not the Bronx, Willie. Really. Oh, it's not yeah. the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I got one more for you here. Um Yeah. The Jets stink. And, and yeah, yeah. No, that's it. they're a laughing stock. That's it. But what? Aaron Rodgers returns. They add Mike Evans. They have a good draft. And look out, NFL. Oh. Here comes Gang Green. Talk about it. Oh, no, I'll give it to you. It's just the same. Oh, oh Jets. 
missing the playoffs. I yeah. talked to Robert Sala yesterday, and uh, it's going to be a very special year for our New York Jets. Special? So was last Can you give us a little bit? Why so special? Oh, I, I can't reveal my private oh, conversations man. with the coach. No. It's just going to be very special. Okay. <laughs> hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.